My issue, what I take umbrage with, mm-hmm. with people like her, and I put her respectfully, disrespectfully, in the troublemaker. Okay. And I'm going to tell you why. It's one thing to whistleblow when you have firsthand knowledge. Mm-hmm. When you are firsthand knowledge and you are directly affected mm-hmm. or you witness something with your mm-hmm. own eyes, that is a whistleblower. What I am curious is your opinion on Jaguar, right? Mm, so, okay. You know, here recently, um, um, Jay Z and Beyonce sent a cease and desist to mm-hmm. Piers Morgan mm-hmm. for him having her on the platform. Now, um, I know a few platforms that she goes on regularly, which mm-hmm. I've done those platforms, and I'm cool with those guys, and I mm-hmm. respect them. Um, shout out to Real Life Street Stars. Mm-hmm. Um, but I have my opinion mm-hmm. of her and people like her. You okay. know, I, not just her, but mm-hmm. she's trending right now. What is your? What are your thoughts mm-hmm. on p- her and people like her? Okay, no, know? I get you. So here's the thing. I feel like it's two different. I feel like you have troublemakers and then I feel like you have whistleblowers. Mm-hmm. So I think mm-hmm. it's two different things. Mm-hmm. I think people that just troll and want to troublemake and just cause dissension and chaos, I think that is something different. Mm-hmm. And at first, I could see how people can maybe group her into the troublemaker mm-hmm. you know, category because I ain't gonna lie, I'll be fully transparent. At first I did mm-hmm. because, and this was before all of the puffy, like this was just, I, I would say she came into my cipher like earlier this year, maybe late mm-hmm. last year. Um, but as I've gotten older and even me too, now being in business and just being in a different space, I really do appreciate people that can and go against the grain and embrace all the discomfort that comes with airing out. I'm just going to say just debauchery, yeah. <laughs> you know, it yeah. just is because, you know, as much mm-hmm. as you know, especially black people want to sit up here and say like, oh, they're tearing a black man down and this and this and that. And I'm like, okay, we can go back and forth. I'm not saying there isn't concerted effort towards him. Maybe or maybe not because he's black, but the thing is that he still did what he did and he still needs to be accountable for what he did. But let me push back a little bit. Push back. In terms of, because I'm very fastidious when it Mm -hmm. comes to certain things. Um, My issue, what I take umbrage with, Mm -hmm. with people like her, and I put her respectfully disrespectfully in the troublemaker okay and i'm gonna tell you why it's one thing to whistleblow when you have firsthand knowledge Mm -hmm. when you are firsthand knowledge and you are directly affected Mm -hmm. or you witness something with your Mm -hmm. own eyes that is a whistleblower now gossip Mm -hmm. you know and and again i'm not super versed on her somewhat Mm -hmm. but I don't believe, and I could be wrong, mm-hmm. but I don't believe that anything she's saying, she has experienced or witnessed firsthand herself. From what I understand, <laughs> from what I understand, uh-huh. this is just, she's regurgitating things mm-hmm. that we've all heard for mm-hmm. 20 plus years. Now, because it's social media, and you have to understand these platforms, mm-hmm. people are incentivized to get on these platforms yes. and perform. Mm-hmm. You know, So you have to take that into consideration as well yeah orlando brown just said that Mm -hmm. Uh, i think it was on say cheese or one of these he said Mm -hmm. yeah depending on how much you pay me is depending on the interview you're gonna get but hold on no but hold on so but i can go but let's talk about orlando brown uh i met orlando brown when i was going to art institute in north hollywood because he was working with my then dude i was dating and they were supposed to do skits and stuff i remember that remember remember yeah I will give orlando this Mm -hmm. everything that he's saying now Mm -hmm. on these platforms Mm -hmm. he was saying at that time with no, no camera. No, this is a fact. But no, but he is coming from a space, he puts himself first person for sure. into these situations. Oh, okay. So yeah. for him, no matter how left field it is, mm. his his, okay, his thing is this is what I what they did to me and what I encountered and what I experienced. Uh, okay, that's his story to tell okay. or lie about or whatever, right? <laughs> okay. I don't know. But when you have someone that says, yeah, well, I heard this, mm-hmm. or we all know, how do you know it? Did you see it? Mm-hmm. Or because I have some, I've heard some crazy mm-hmm. too about a lot of people mm-hmm. and I have a platform. Mm-hmm. So imagine me getting on here <laughs> and regurgitating all of that as if it's fact, you know? Now, because I think in this social media age, the, I don't think that some of the people can 
they can discern the difference between truth and entertainment. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a blurred line. Mm -hmm. It's a very blurred line. So for me, if you're not saying that, hey, this happened to me, Mm -hmm. this is what this person did, this is what this person, or or Mm -hmm. I was there. Mm -hmm. I witnessed this and I saw that, right? Mm -hmm. Corroborating what someone else is saying. Then other than that, it's gossip and hearsay. Mm -hmm. Because if it was, because now here's the second part of it. I liken it to this. If you've had this information or anyone had this information for 20 plus years, mm-hmm. okay, why not go to law enforcement with it? And why, why after all this time, I can answer that. Why, mm-hmm. why, why not? Why are you quiet? You know, you're talking now because you're incentivized by the pay, mm-hmm. right? And the attention. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's kind of like, it's almost like if I know that the neighbor is abusing, you know, physically abusing the child, mm-hmm. right? Instead, if I don't go over there and stomp a mud hole in his ass myself mm-hmm. or call the appropriate people, mm-hmm. then I but but I go and gossip to the other neighbors. Yeah, you know, he beating a 10 year old over mm-hmm. there. We seen him with the bro. Man, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Then I might as well go over there and beat him myself. No, I agree. Yeah. I agree. And so so to to go back on all of what you just said. And no, those are valid points. And I and I fully agree. Now, same. I haven't fully dive deep into all of what she has going on and all of her te- testimonies. I've seen, you know, like mm-hmm. some clips, some shorts here and there, and you know, you, you go through the comments, but because I, I remember thinking to myself, I said, man, she's not this mad over no deal gone wrong. Mm-hmm. You know, I was like that. I mean, I get it, broken dreams and mm-hmm. all of that, but mm-hmm. I said there has to, th- this is something else. So I found, I, I, I don't know, you know, y'all can drop it in the comments, but I think her, because she was coming out as a whistleblower previously mm-hmm. is speculated that her son was the victim of like that's that was his demise that's why his life was ended because uh, okay. it was like retaliation like oh you want to run your mouth cool well here's your son so this is why there's videos of her like literally she's throwing her son's ashes on people like clearly mm-hmm. it was a mental breakdown so yes. I'm not coming for yes. her I no. completely a- understand yeah. yeah yeah for sure but if that is her reasoning for wanting mm-hmm. to go so hard, because it's like, okay, if you take the thing that means the most in the mm-hmm. world from me, mm-hmm. then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do everything I can. So let me to, stop to you there. I'm just, I, I, mm-hmm. I understand that. And I, I, but that's emotion. It is. See, that's, that's not fact. Well, no, no, no. You know what what I'm mean? saying is no. No, I'm no not what I'm saying is she, she has an ax to grind mm-hmm. in all of this, but it's mm-hmm. not rooted in actual fact well see but that's what i'm saying mm -hmm. we don't know because with the diddy like even with Mm -hmm. diddy and cassie Mm -hmm. once again i'm not sure but Mm -hmm. from what people were saying a Mm -hmm. lot of what she had been saying for years was kind of in the the court files with cassie's thing so i'm not arguing that Mm -hmm. so what i'm saying i'm not even saying what she is saying is not true Mm -hmm. but i'm saying we have to be careful because people listen to that as if as if it's law i get what you You see what i'm saying Mm -hmm. And this is someone regurgitating what they've heard. Mm -hmm. Because I've heard things, too. Mm -hmm. I've heard things about a lot of celebrities. They could be true. They could be not true. Right? it's people's real lives. It's victims' real lives. I get it. It's real And this is where I think the responsibility comes. Is like, okay, if it's entertainment, at least understand how to articulate yourself Mm -hmm. and say, hey, listen, I heard. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, I don't know. They say, okay, cool. But when you couch it in Mm -hmm. such a way that, no, I know. I Mm -hmm. witnessed this. You know what I'm saying? Now... People say, well, she hasn't been sued. You know, mm-hmm. um, I, I don't respectfully. I mean, you know, if you're going to sue somebody, you're going to sue somebody that's going to get something. You're going to mm-hmm. get something. That's right? true. Mm-hmm. You know, and then I don't think that I, I think that people are entertained by her. Mm-hmm. I think sometimes people project their too. you mm-hmm. know, because if you want to believe it, you will. For sure. And you bring your own into it. Mm-hmm. Right. If you think if you've been robbed before, you know, yeah. and you're. You're traumatized by being robbed. And then another say, man, this <laughs> robbed me. Man, I know he did. I know because yeah. I robbed me. You know what I mean? Like, you got I that remember, bias. Right. Yeah. You're, you're biased. Yes. Right. So, and again, I'm not coming for her. I'm just unpacking. Yeah. Because we're in this space. And I try to be very mm-hmm. responsible with the platform. And, you know, people can be misled, mm-hmm. you know, and I and, and, and then the thing about it, even in the comments, when you try to come from a very pragmatic standpoint mm-hmm. and oh, use common dragged. sense, yeah. yeah, then you become, you know, oh, 
you're a diddler. Yeah. Oh, you're an abuser. Yeah. And it's like, no, 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 no. That's not what I said. All I'm saying, yes. remove emotion. Yes. Yes. All I'm saying is, do you have to understand that, you know. But I, here's the thing, though. I will say, because I do think this is important to note, because I do see a lot of like, oh, why are these people coming out now? Why mm -hmm. now? Why now? But what people have to consider is that, especially with men and power dynamics and men understand power dynamics because y'all naturally function under hierarchy. Mm -hmm. if, if, if you have these people, you know what I mean? If you have this man that has all this money, these, right. this resource, this access, you mm -hmm. know, not only in the entertainment, but mm -hmm. also in law enforcement, mm -hmm. who are you going to call? Ghostbusters? Mm -hmm. Seriously, who are you going to call? Because if he has the sheriff on payroll, like Diddy, he paid 50, 100 bands to have the tape deleted from a big hotel mm -hmm. and whatever like I didn't you see what I'm saying like yeah. these are still things and I'm saying this to say that when you have victims or other people that see these power plays I can understand how people could be like well sheesh like so-and-so got took out so-and-so's family got took out they got paid off this person or this share this mm -hmm. this political person I could start you know it's just like with Cassie you can be a walking hostage mm -hmm. because you're still under this power dynamic you know so yeah. I think that that's why sometimes people, it can take them longer because shoot, sometimes it may be an opening. Maybe yeah. there wasn't an opening for years. Maybe you didn't have anywhere to go. Maybe you couldn't even financially take the backlash you, that would have that would have come with that because now you're blackballed, you're yeah. eradicated. And especially as women, you have to move even more, <laughs> you know? I mean, it's not it's not lost on me that, that you know, I, I understand, you know, um, some women don't have, you know, they don't have anyone. 